What's up guys, Kev Joaquin here. Just on my way to a few stores and I thought I'd share a few thoughts that I've been thinking about. I read a tweet on Twitter the other day uh, and a girl tweeted that she says it's hard to decipher between the signs of whether God is wanting you to let go of something or if he's testing out your abilities, your strengths, or, or he's just testing you in general. Um, and this is a great statement. This is something I find myself always fighting. Uh, I'm sure lots of you can relate to. But something personally that has helped me or something that I've tried to um, use when it comes to these type of decisions, maybe something you can relate, maybe something you can try to focus on next time. I don't know, but this has just worked out for me personally and maybe something you can pay attention to possibly uh, when you come to that type of decision. So when it comes to letting go of something, I've noticed there's two different types of, uh, of ways of being uncomfortable. I think there's a surface level of uncomfortability and then there's, I don't know if that's even a word, but I think there's a surface level of being uncomfortable and then there's a deeper level of being uncomfortable. And I think when it comes to being on the surface level of being uncomfortable, that's God's way of testing our abilities, God's way of testing our strengths. I think when it comes to your spirit being uncomfortable, that, that is a clear sign of whether you're with somebody, you're at an event, um, an area, whatever it is, if your spirit is uncomfortable, usually that for me at least, that means that wherever I'm at or currently doing, I have to release myself from it because my spirit is uncomfortable. And the spirit is ultimately the connection from God. It's every, it, every, the Holy Spirit is what leads us. And so if the main navigator of our lives is uncomfortable, that's something to consider. And so when it comes to those type of decisions, when it's when it's when my spirit is bothered, I know whatever I'm facing, I just have to release it and let it go. Um, and when it comes to fighting harder, fighting stronger, fighting more, I find it to be surface level uncomfortable, whether it's physical or mental, or even my heart and mind. Um, but if my, usually in those type of situations or scenarios where I'm, I don't know where to go, and my if my spirit is still fine, it's not bothered, then I know I that this is a test. This is a um, uh, something that a trial or tribulation that I'm going through that God's going to bring me out. And so he just wants me to continue to keep trying and, and not, not to quit. Um, but for me personally, like I said before, sorry for the sun. If, if your spirit is uncomfortable and you're still doing what you're going to do, you're always going to feel that ability. What's, is there, is this really it? Are things really going to change? My spirit is completely bothered. And that's the way of God telling you, hey, sometimes it's okay to let go of things because he wants to bless you with better things. And uh, I think that's the hardest concept to grasp is that is that we've been attached to something or someone for so long um, and we really don't know what else is out there. But if your spirit is bothered, it's a clear sign that God wants to bring something better in your life. He wants to do something better for you. And it may not happen right away. It may take some time to develop and you have to trust that process. But for me personally, I think that's a way that I've helped decipher between letting go of something or trying harder. Um, it, it really comes down to the spirit. And even then, in the moment, in that time, it can be hard to hear the spirit at all, you know, if we're going to be completely honest. Um, but at the end of the day, that's when it comes down to praying. It comes down to getting in the word. It comes down to really just meditating and, and, and doing a lot of self-reflection and seeing what God is trying to tell you, seeing what possibly that he's been showing you a few signs that you may have not seen. Um, it's really just connecting with God and seeing what the best choice, the best option, the best next step is for you. And I believe when you do those things, when you go into prayer and you ultimately seek his next advice, his next step, he will ultimately show you. Um, and you have to trust that process. Uh, and so I think both ways, whether you're letting go of something or moving uh towards something again you're trying harder maybe in a different way or adjusting yourself regardless of which direction you're taking you have to rely on the holy spirit to lead you through it you have to go go back and fall back on the holy spirit's leading you um and maybe that's a bad term of saying falling back on because the holy spirit ultimately should be the frontline person when in anything you do 
Um, so don't take that for granted. God wants what's best for you. He wants you to be happy. He wants you to be able to have the best life you can possibly have. But if you don't believe that for yourself, ultimately, you're never going to see that any type of results happen in your life. It always starts with you. It always starts with the decision to try and to try again. You're going to fall. We all have fallen short of the glory of God, okay? We all have fallen short. We all have flaws. We all have a different past of things we've done, things that have happened to, happened to us that we're not happy about. Um, but it all has been taken care of through the blood of Jesus. Thank God. All glory goes to God. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. And uh, see you guys next time.